Hi guys, so you've written this amazing paper and it happens to be called the amazing <laughs> manuscript and you want to submit it to a journal. The way that I do it is I set up a folder, ignore this bit at the top, that's for later, but at the, 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 the paper file is the name of the article that I'm going to submit, just the first word or two. Um, or whatever it happens to be about, and then the date. So I'm going to have in there my main manuscript, which will be blinded. That means it does not have any information about who wrote it in the manuscript. That's for a double blind um, review process to ensure that the quality and rigor is there. Also, I will have a folder, a file in my Word documents that will include the tables. I might also have figures in a separate file and the title and abstract page and this, um, there might be a checklist. What's missing here? I'm also missing the letter to the editor that I would write and I tend to keep that pretty short, um, just a three or four sentences where I say, you know, dear editor, um, title of the paper, and say, you know, this is a paper that aligns with your journal's goals and the reason why I think it's worth you considering publishing it is XYZ. So here I am at Medical Education and over here is where it says login, which I've just clicked and now I'm logged in or I will have an opportunity to create my new login. Right, so now what do I do? I need to figure out how to contribute. Oh, there's a good option. Submit. Oh, brilliant. So first, I would always recommend that you read the author guidelines and make sure that your manuscript meets with those guidelines. And I'm in. Yippee! Okay, so over here there's different portals depending on whether you're an author or a reviewer. In this case, I'm an author. Okay, and I want to start a new submission. So, let's begin. Let's do that. Wahoo! Okay, so these are the different types of articles they're asking. Have I written, written a systematic literature review? Have I written a research article? And this journal has different types of articles that you might not see in other journals, such as they have a when I say format and various other ones. But my one is just a straightforward research article using qualitative data. And journals have different ways, like depending on their platform for submitting it, they'll have different rules around how you need to submit these things. Sometimes you submit the abstract separately, sometimes it's in with the manuscript. There's all sorts of ins and outs around this, but in this case I've asked for the abstract here, so I put it there. The manuscript goes first. And it's anonymized, which means that it does not have my name in it. And it cannot have my name in the title either. I like the file name. And you just work your way through. Now link text and caption legend. This can be quite handy for you to know about. If um, you've got somewhere in your article where you've indicated where the t where the table should go it will automatically link it according to that so so here's what i'm going to be submitting and you can see i've got the figure one oh whoops that should definitely be there because if you've got a figure the title for the figure goes below the figure if you've got a table the ta title for the table goes above the table. Uh, so tables, what is it? Table tops 
and figures follow. Ah, here's my table. So that's what I want my table, that's where my table will go. Um, insert table one about here. And that's where I'll be able to link as long as the all the text is identical. So what I could do is I could just copy that. Control C copy and then go back to the online and just triple check everything's tickety boo. Yep, that's that's what I'll do there. Some journals do require that you complete a checklist to demonstrate your rigor. I've used the strobe, so I'm going to upload that. And if it's not mentioned in the drop down list here, I'm just going to put additional info. There we go, now it's uploading. There's all sorts of stuff that you need to complete, the attributes, keywords, research method that you've undertaken. Here is where you copy bits off from your um, title page where you have your author details that you've prepared earlier. Now I've got those green ticks of happiness. So that's great. And it says here, you're almost done. Please view your proof below. So when I get down to that bottom where it says view the proof, I've got a few different options here. I'm going to go for this one. And just like magic, here it is. So that looks good. I can check everything's in order. Yes, blah, blah, blah. It's all there. And here is my download button. This is the only opportunity I get <laughs> to download what was submitted. So I'm going to press that button there. And that's downloaded for me now. So now I can press that happy submit button. I can close this down here and go ahead and submit it. Once you've submitted it and you've done your party dance and gone, woohoo, it's in, finally it's gone, yay! Um, then it bounces back, you know, a week, three weeks later, and the editor has asked for revisions. They've sent it out for review and then revisions are required. And often it's major, Occasionally it's minor, but um, that's okay. It's all part of the process and it's a good opportunity to make your paper better. Now I've addressed the reviewer's comments and what I've learned that could be quite useful is when you make the changes in your, ma in your manuscript, you use the um, tracking function to demonstrate where exactly where the changes have happened and it can be really useful to just pop a comment in there as well where you say this is directly responding to reviewer one's comment about blah -de blah right this is responding to a specific comment now that one wasn't that one I just decided rhubarb sounded better than blah -de blah so I just did that myself but down here I'm responding directly to reviewer two and their first comment And oh, the other thing that I wanted to mention is you're probably going to need to write a letter to the editor stating what revisions you've made. Dear editor, and something like, thank you very much for the opportunity to review this paper. We're delighted the editors saw merit in it and below detail the um, things we've done to respond to their comments. And then and that's literally verbatim what I would write. And then what I would do is I'd insert a table here. And it's literally just comment, response. And so I copy and paste all the comments. You know, reviewer one wants this one here. Reviewer one wants some blah, 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 blah. And they say blah, blah, blah. And they say whatever they say. And then here it's useful to just let them know change has been made. Change made, page uh, 13, um, you know, para 2, and then if it's something that's two lines or less, a change that's two lines or less, I'll actually put it in here. But if it's longer than that, then I will just say um, major changes. Major changes made. And they can go there and have a wee look themselves. And then I move on to the next comment. 
Okay, that's enough for now. So you are armed and ready to go and succeed in the world and get all your stuff published, and I wish you well with that journey. Cheers.